Who are the three people who, have, who has actually contributed to your success? Um, the three main people. Well, I would say first of all would be my mom, who's always been there throughout my whole life, basically supporting me, even when I decided to take squash as a career. Um, my sister, obviously, who's been a part of squash as well, and she's we've been traveling the world together since we were young. And it's also Aaron Soiza, my current coach. I mean, he's been coaching me for the past 12 years, I would say. And fortunately or unfortunately, I mean, it has, it will go on for the next couple of years. And because it's a good partnership, and he's been there for me throughout my whole since I was really young. So he's he's he knows all my all the steps that we have taken together. Um, well, obviously, we have really good and some bad days as well because we work so hard and sometimes you just don't achieve what you want to achieve and that can be really frustrating so at certain times. Well, what keeps me going is I have my support team, I would say like my mom, my sister, Aaron, who knows how much effort I put into my daily training and to achieve what I have today, but it doesn't always happen. But what inspires me is how far I've come when I was young up until today. I mean, it's, it's been an amazing journey and, it's, and it'll still keep going. What kind of player would you describe her as? Um, women's a very patient and very steady player. Well, basically, being patient and being steady is one of her major assets. And on the downside of it, being patient and being steady doesn't allow her to exhibit her aggressiveness and her, her attacking ability. So, she's progressed quite a lot. What do you think her future is going to be like? Well, she's got a bright future ahead of her. She's only 23 years old this year. And uh, she's got many more years in top flight to go. So I think she can make it to the top. It has to come down to her being top 10 in the world and making that single digit number. We're going back to your old school. How does it feel? Well, it feels really excited to go back. I mean, it's been a long time since I last went back to school. So you'll be able to see some of your old teachers and... Yeah, I mean, it'll be nice to have, to meet up with them again. In my school, we had our, our activity, our sports days on Wednesday. So it's basically from 8.30 to 3, it's a whole day sports. It's a, our day out from the classroom, sort of. So it's basically that our Wednesdays is you start off going to out to the field or swimming pool sometimes. There's nothing much you can complain about, can you? So, we're heading back to your school, but then you, it's moved, obviously, right? Um, well, yeah, I mean, the school has grown so much since my time. And the place we are at now, the new place, we used to come on Wednesdays for sports. So that's where we play badminton, there's a football field, there's a table tennis. You don't really have to be naughty when you get all this. <laughs> it's true, right? <laughs> and all I can see right now, that's not fair. You know, yeah, if I was... This is my school, by the way. If you wow. want to go to the field. And that's the badminton hall. Yeah. We used to play badminton in that, in that building over there. I think this is a secondary school. Yeah. This is all where the classrooms are. And then this is the kids' play area. We have all the small... I think there's a small sand place as well. So we go play around with the small kids and the toys for a little bit. <laughs> so Daniel, when did you first meet Weewen? I think I was in Form 4, because she's two years my junior. I think it was when she was in Form 2, right? So that was back in uh, 2004, I think. Uh, we were swimming, we would have competitive swimming, we'd have football. So when it comes to playing football, football is the male dominated sport. So she'd be like, yeah, she'll be all for it as a girl. And she'd be very competitive, like slide tackling and all that kind of stuff. So um, those were some of the characteristics we see in Weaver. So I, I think she's a very good all rounder sportswoman, very good sportsmanship. But as her friend. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, be honest, right? Yeah, be, be honest. honest. All right, so okay. let's so, be honest. Was she not at all naughty in any way? I think back in uh, the old school, we used to have this tree and uh, we used to climb it and pull fruits out of it. Oh, yeah? I don't know if consider that naughty, but it was one well, of the things know, we did. Well, were you allowed to do it? No, we're, no climbing allowed, that's for sure. But, you know, we did those things anyway. 